All right, welcome back everybody. I got a fresh new video just for y'all out there, just for my basketball fans out there and sports fans in general. Now this is gonna be a very specific one, okay? It's gonna be five shots that to this day, I remember where I was when that shot went down. Paul Pierce versus the Miami Heat, first round, 2010 playoffs. Final seconds. Pierce puts it up for the win. Knocks it down. Pierce got the ball at the top of the key. Dribbling, dribbling, waiting for his moment, and right when his moment hits, drives, takes a nice little step back, sinks it, 3-0, Celtics are up, and it looks to be the beginning of the end for the Miami Heat. Now, I remember, it was a Friday night, I remember watching that game, and I remember him sinking that shot, and I was like, this dude really just did that. Paul Pierce just hit that shot to end Dwayne Wade's run in Miami. There was no way they were coming back 3-0 down. Now, I kid you not, when I say I practiced that shot over 100 times, I practiced that shot over 100 times. I am not kidding. I would be outside in the backyard and just think of myself as Paul Pierce. Dribble, 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 make my move and drill that shot. It would go down, you know, one time out of 10, but it really doesn't matter. So Celtics beat the Heat in five games. In the next round, they beat the Cavs, and we all know what happened next. LeBron taking off his jersey, and then during the summer, joins Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade in Miami to go up against the Celtics Big Three and, and the Celtics run. Kobe Bryant over Raja Bell, Boris Diaw, and the Phoenix Suns. Bryant with the save. Oh, you gotta get a shot here. Final seconds. Bryant for the win. Bang! Back when Kobe was dragging Smush Parker and them to the playoffs, the seventh seed Lakers go on against the second seed powerhouse Phoenix Suns. 15 seconds, Suns got the ball, Kobe forces a turnover on Steve Nash, and of course Kobe lays it in to tie the game and force OT, and in OT, in OT, 6.1 seconds to go, Lakers win a tip, Kobe gets it, Kobe gathers it, Kobe makes his move, Kobe goes over Rajah Bell, the very tough Rajah Bell, and you can add Boris Dio on there, goes and sinks it at the buzzer and gives the Lakers a 3-1 lead. The seventh seeded Lakers were about to upset the second seeded Phoenix Suns. Kobe drew the shot. Staples Center goes wild. I mean, when you think Kobe, you think of that shot against the Phoenix Suns. Staples Center's erupting. You know Kobe Bryant, that infamous picture with him in the fist going like this. Come on, come on. You, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. That, mm, yes. And of course, you know, what he did after when he would grab his jersey to unveil his, you know, little logo there. I mean, those images of Kobe are like engraved in all our brains. I'm 100% sure of that. Now, we won't talk about what happened the rest of that series. Not really important. Carmelo Anthony versus the Dallas Mavericks. Carmelo defended by Antoine Wright. And there's the foul. They didn't call it, and Carmelo hits it. Now, I'm a Denver Nugget fan, and this was the first playoff run that I had experienced in my Denver Nugget fanhood. The only playoff run up until last season when they made it to the semi-conference finals. Did I say that right? I think I did. Now game three, Western Conference semi-finals against the Dallas Mavericks. Nuggets were up 2-0. Um, remember in that middle of the season they traded Allen Iverson to Detroit for Chauncey Billups and what a difference Chauncey Billups made on that team. What a team they had. Carmelo, Dante Jones, and Chauncey Billups, Anthony Carter, Birdman, Anderson, J.R. Smith off the bench. Ooh, what a team that was. And I really didn't like the Mavericks in those days. I hated the Mavericks, mainly because of Mark Cuban. I just couldn't stand them. I like them a little bit better now, but you know, that's a different topic. It was a Sunday. I had my J.R. Smith jersey because that was my guy, J.R. Smith, J.R. Swish off the bench, six man. He would hit you with five threes a game. Absolutely love J.R. Smith. I had that jersey on and I was ready to rock. Now, Jason Terry drills this three that gave the Dallas Mavericks a four point game and you thought it was it. You thought it was over. But Carmelo Anthony drives down the middle, makes it a two point game, and then Kenyon Martin, my guy, Kenyon Martin playing stellar defense against Dirk as he tries to do that patented Dirk shot. Doesn't go down. Nuggets get the rebound. Timeout called. And I think we all know what happened. Now the Mavs had a foul to give. They tried to use that foul to give. Antoine Wright swiped that mellow. The ref didn't call the foul. The ref did not call the foul. Antoine Wright stops playing. Carmelo Anthony does not stop playing. And he drills a three in front of the Mavericks bench. Mark Cuban and the Dallas Mavericks bench. He's like, yo, what the hell? We had a foul to give. They called the foul. But they really want to. I mean, you just swipe that mellow. It's playoff time. They're not going to call that. 
He didn't like wrap Melo up. He didn't wrap Melo up. So Melo kept on going, played through the contact, drilled the three, 3 0. And uh, the Nuggets were later go on to win that series. And they lost the next game, but they won the next game. And then they lost to the Lakers in the conference finals. We don't talk about that. LeBron James is game winner against the Orlando Magic in Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Now before I begin about LeBron, when you think of Dwight Howard, please go back to this playoff run in 2009. Look at that run by Dwight Howard, leading that Magic team with Hito Turkoglu, Rashad Lewis, an injured Jameer Nelson, Rafer Austin. Who else did they have? Who else? I'm forgetting players' his name, but I'm pretty sure Mikel Petris was on there. Look at that run by Dwight. Now this was supposed to be the year that the Cleveland Cavaliers led by LeBron James, were supposed to meet the Los Angeles Lakers, led by Kobe Bryant in the NBA Finals. The Lakers had to get through the Denver Nuggets. Cavaliers had to get through the Orlando Magic. Kobe did his part. Now it was LeBron to do his part. Game one, the Magic took it. Game two, the Magic looked to be on the verge of a commanding 2-0 lead. Lewis gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yes! Now Magic up two. Cavs ball, literally no time left to go. Literally no time left to go. Mo Williams inbounds it to LeBron. LeBron catch. LeBron shoots it over Tito Turkoglu. You know how hard it is to shoot over Tito Turkoglu? Shoots it over Turkoglu. Buries it at the buzzer. The quick and lonesome arena. Goes into pandemonium. Signature shot for LeBron James. A signature moment there. What an amazing shot that was. A little bit of backstory here. I was about 13 years old when LeBron hit this shot. All my friends were Laker fans. I was a lone Nugget fan. All my friends were Laker fans, diehard Kobe Bryant fans. I like LeBron better personally, nothing against Kobe. I was just a big LeBron, I was a LeBron guy. I've always been a LeBron guy. I know, growing up in Southern California, I was a LeBron guy. And I just remembered when this shot went down, I went on MySpace. That's right, MySpace, that's how old this is. Went on MySpace and I posted some big posts Posted some dumb thing about LeBron James hitting the shot and him being better than Kobe Bryant and all that stuff. Yeah, I was 13 at the time. Come on, give me a break here. Those are good times, man. 09, elementary school, lunch, recess, play basketball, talk basketball. They'd come to my house, we'd play basketball. It was just great those times. Simpler times, 09. Now, from one of my earliest memories of basketball, Robert Ory's game winner versus the Sacramento Kings in game four of the Western Conference Finals. Now, I remember watching this game in the living room with my brothers. We had our cousins over. They're all Laker fans, so it was a big deal, this game. Now, I still remember the whole sequence to this day. Bryant falling short. O'Neal grabbing the rebound, missing it. Vladdy Divac swatting it, but swatting it right into the hands of Robert Ory, who got it in motion, drains it. And all I remember is Robert Ory, that little thing that Robert Ory did when he put his hands behind his head, kind of skipping, you know, a little lip going like that's right. I just sank this shot to end your guys' hopes at beating us. Cause you would never beat us because they never did. All right, that was a nice little stroll down memory lane. Thank you guys for accompanying me on this journey of NBA shots that resonate with me till this day. Hope you enjoyed this list. Let me know down below which shots you guys still remember like it was yesterday. If you guys remember any of these shots, obviously the Robert Ory shot, we all know that. The LeBron shot, we all know that. The Rajah Bell shot, I mean the Kobe shot over Rajah Bell, we know that. But the Carmelo Anthony shot, the Paul Pierce shot. Do we really think about these shots? Not really. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, goodbye.